This uh, is the demonstration of the uh, interface to the Neo4G database. Uh, there are some nodes here. Uh, first we have uh, here in Cypher um, a driver node which uh, I use to connect to the database. I have a node to load CSV uh, data from from a file, a session to ask queries to uh, the database or to make updates and a special uh, node for connecting uh, the nodes. So uh, let's see what is the environment. We start with this environment. We have here uh, two artists in our database. That's all. And now um, I have here the driver. In the driver uh, node I have the uh, connection string, what is the location of the database, what is the user and its password. And here I have the load CSV uh, uh, and we have here the command create a human with a name and a year from this file. This is a simple uh, file uh, here with this uh, three data. So, and now I run this uh, load CSV uh, node. I run it and then I make here an update and I see here we have the three new nodes. And these are humans and these two, the old ones, are the artists. Okay, and now we can look to the session nodes. Um, first thing is, I have here a session where I ask uh, match all objects and return them. And when I execute it, I see here this was the old version and I run it. And so I get here the list of all objects and I can ask how many uh, they are. And I see we have five uh, objects. Uh, the values now are here in the out list. Here I have all the objects. In another case, if I have only one parameter, then in the out list there is only the list of this parameter, this simple parameter. This is the old result and I run an update and now we see we have all the four names of the persons in, in the database. And there is possible another case, this case here, uh, when I have only one uh, value as return, then in out dictionary I get uh, this single object with its attributes and we have uh, this one here. So this is all. So the next uh, what I can do is I can connect nodes. In our example I want to connect these three nodes with one of them. So uh, here we have the number uh, 54. Uh, Anton is 54 and here I have the connect command and at this place I have 54. This is Anton. So I make a list so I can use multiple uh, keys in this case and it's connected with this bin with targets. And here I have a selection. I have uh, the three persons and I want in this case to get the IT, the so internal database key of these records. And when I run it, I get these results. These uh, values are always created when I insert a new object into the database. And now I want to connect these three keys with this one, running this command. And uh, this is not the right command. Uh, by default, I only run this command and I connect the IDs. And now we can see the result here. Uh, we see D 
these three are connected to Anton and this is a single one and we can have a look at the structure of the database. We see here all the objects with the values uh, and we have here the, the connected environment and the last step what we can do is we can uh, use uh, a session method this one and here we have the command match uh, these three persons and delete them and uh, kill all connections of them. So I execute this one and we go back to our database and we see we have the uh, state of the beginning of the video.